Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about two enclosures for NVMe, so in order to build an external SSD. Both of them are made of metal. They are quite solid. One of them is the official Asus ROG Strix, and one of them is bought from AliExpress. It's just called Union Sign M2 NVMe. So both of them are compatible with NVMe SSDs. I think PCE ones. The Asus one was 43, almost 44 dollars, and the Union one was 15 dollars. And I just want to see if there is a difference. If the one which is more expensive, it's better than the other one because this one from Asus is like three times the the money for for it. So firstly. The one from AliExpress is smaller. I mean, you can see it with their eye. It's much smaller. I think they are both the same as thickness, but I think the main reason why I like this one more than this one is because this one has a screw and it's quite solid, nothing happens. But on this one, unfortunately, there's a rattle. And it's quite annoying. And this is without the, the SSD, but we will see that with the SSD, it will make the same noise. So, and the package for this one, which was the more expensive one, we got a USB C. To a normal USB A cable, it should be 3.0. I bought a new light and it's quite annoying. And uh, somehow handy tool, which is Asus engraved. We'll see how to how to use this tool later. And with the more uh, more cheaper one, we got a screwdriver, two extra screws, one for the for the enclosure and the other one that holds the SSD, a thermal pad, a USB-C to a USB-A cable, a long one, so sure, a USB-C to a USB-C cable, and a hanging thing, which I will never use because I don't want to lose it. Okay, I think this is clearly two ones. If the speed of those two devices will be the same. Uh, because I bought a, a longer USB-C to USB-A cable and a USB-C to USB-C one and I think it was again the price of the other one. Anyway, so let's see what's inside each one of them. Let's start with this one because I have the screwdriver already. I think on my next videos I won't use this light anymore because the shadow is annoying or I, I don't know how to position it. So that's it, we have another screw inside, so we have extra screws and that's pretty much it for the inside. And for the other one this is where this tool comes in handy because it's the same as for the sim we have a little hole in here and you have to press this thing down and this pops up it's a very stupid mechanism and here you can see we have a small very thin piece of thermal pad of light which i can say i hate it but Let's see how both of this, uh, these external things will work. So the test for today will be done with the Kingston and the ME if it will focus one terabyte. So it's uh, enough. I won't use those uh, software which are meant to... Uh, and also, you can use this tool in order to unscrew this screw if you don't have a screwdriver. 
And by the way, I have changed my microphone. This is the third one that I'm experiencing with. Hopefully this will be more enjoyable for you. So remember that, that this one doesn't have any any extra screws. So if you lose it, that's it. I was saying that I won't use any software that are, is telling you the speed of, of the transfer because I don't think it's pretty accurate. I will just use uh, archive and copy it to one enclosure and then copy it to another and just see how it goes. Again, you can use this tool. Write it down. And now you have firstly to incline this and get it in this side. Because if you start with the other side, we'll just lock it and you have to start over. See? Now we have the drive inside and this also rattles. Not, not so hard as last time, but still. It's annoying, it's pretty annoying. But let's see how it goes. I will use an external adapter in order for you to see the beautiful lightning in the faces. I'm just kidding, I'm not a RGB fan, so I just like enclosure. Okay, so we have the light. Wonderful. And now I will switch to my desktop in order to see the speed so i will copy one project going back to the ssd and we have 300 megabytes maximum 316 something like this with asus or six which was 44 dollars yeah, great let me just delete this and safely remove it because why not all of us used windows xp in the past the all habit remains okay so now the same procedure just put this thing in drop it Unscrew this with the handy dandy tool. Not the most wonderful position. Yeah. Okay. This is not enjoyable. There are some moments when my hands shake a little more. And I saw some, some comments about this. It's because of the coffee. In the past, I was used to drink 8 to 10 coffees per day, and I was having some health issues, so now I dropped to only 2 coffees per day. Which is still a lot in some cases, but better than nothing. So, at least now we have a screwdriver. Oh my god, so yeah, my hands are shaking very bad because. Today I had three coffees. Okay. I don't like this the screw very much. I think it will just be stripped if you are doing this a bunch of times. Okay, next time. Okay, it will take a while. Hmm. So I really need to get rid of the coffee. Just one in the morning, I think it will be enough. And now rather it. 
we have a small thing, but it's it's not the same thing. Okay, let's see the RGB. Function. In three, two, one. It's opening and closing, so this is a, a sad thing with these Chinese devices. I, I can't use it this way. I think it's just a crap. And my two weeks are gone, so I can't send it back. <laughs> Let me use their cable. To see if it's any, any difference. I don't think so, but at least we can try. Okay, so now it stopped. So seriously, you have to use the cable? It's like a mandatory thing. They, I don't like the thing like clipping one color, then another color. And I think it just has blue and green. Okay, let's see how it performs. Three hundred and thirty-five. So it's actually better. Cheaper and better. <laughs> okay. This is not what I expected, to be honest. So, the cheaper one is better, basically, at the speed. And the only inconvenience is that you have to use their cable. But they provided two cables, both USB-C to USB-A and USB-C to USB-C. So, I think it's more than enough. And I think this light can go a little bit. Okay, this is better. So yeah, I'm not sure what to say. So basically, this one is faster than the other one, and it's cheaper and comes with two cables. Oh, but I forgot to to put the the pad, the thermal pad on it. Yeah, I think yeah. this one is cooler. I, I think. This one gets pretty hot after like three minutes of using it. And this is smaller. So from my opinion, both are working as expected, but this one has a rest rattle on it. It's cheaper. I mean, this one is three times the price. It's working with screws, which you can handle with any screwdriver. And also I think, I mean, I will definitely buy three of these instead of one of of these because, to be honest, when I bought this one last summer, I didn't know this one existed because, of course, I, I would try the cheaper one first because it's just an external device. Okay, so it's working. It's It doesn't have any issue with the cable they provided. So it was maybe a cable compatibility issue. Let's see the other one also with RGB so we can compare the RGB. But I think I, I like this one more now. Ah, and now the, the RGB stopped flickering. And it's like... I think I can, I can power it without any SSD in it. I don't think it's a problem to be honest. Yeah, so now it's flipping again this one, but it's still connected and I can see the partition. So both are great as a final thought. To be honest, I wouldn't pay three times more for the Asus one just because it's Asus. And I would stay with the Chinese version of it because it's much cheaper, it's much smaller and it had a lot of accessories and Basically, it's doing the same thing. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. In the future I will do both Python videos and more hardware reviewing stuff or building stuff or uh, because I, I'm not sure what you guys like the most because my subscriber number is quite low and even if there are like 670 subscribers on each video I have like 20 or 30 views so something is happening I, I didn't find out what happened until now with the YouTube algorithm but I found one thing uh, last time I've copied one video from a fellow YouTuber who had 60,000 subscribers and he had like 30,000 views each video so I copied one video from him and changed nothing uploaded to my channel with the same title uh, and no text because he hadn't any text and same description same thumbnail same everything and the views on that specific video just exploded I had in two days like 6,000 views and then he contacted me to to drop the video and so on and I did but it I I'm not sure how this works, if he paid for for the views or if he used Google Ads or something and maybe the algorithm is based on the specific video so it's somehow a learning mechanism and if it sees the same videos with the same title and so on and the same frames maybe it promotes it more, maybe it thinks that I paid also for that promotion but was an interesting experiment Okay, thank you and see you in the next one.